It was well given, well prepared, and it touched on all the various points that we've been trying to make to, to government. What we really need is a complete revaluation of how local government is seen by central government. What we really need, as Sir Merrick said, is a complete rebranding. So the central government get it. They understand that we are grown up, we know what we're doing, and we're better for delivering services than they are. Uh, what, what we've heard today is really setting the scene now, going forward for the, the innovative new changes that all local authorities now need to look at in terms of responding to the changes that we've all been facing over the last couple of years. And I think the LGA's um, you know, rewiring public services is a blueprint really for um, and provides a framework for all local authorities now to work to. Well, of course, the setting out the the approach in rewiring public services is the uh, is the keynote part of that, and I think that's very much to be welcomed. I know that we're all going through extremely difficult times. So I, I have the the finance portfolio in Sandwell, so I know how difficult the the budgets are, and I think that we do have to break free of the central government shackles where we're able to do that. We, we need to make the decisions that are the right decisions for us to make and we actually need to challenge the government where they've got it wrong in terms of what that means for local government and I think if, uh, if this approach through rewiring enables us as local government to do that then that's exactly what we should do. And the rewiring public services. I think you're a very very wise man. Um, I just wish more people to listen, you know, to, to people like him. I think he's very sensible in, in a lot of the comments that he, you know, that he's made today. Uh, uh, we in local government have been working really hard over the last few years. We've, we've worked with others, we've merged services, we've made significant reductions in, in terms of finances while still protecting frontline services. And I think the idea of letting Whitehall take its turn in, in doing some, some collective thinking about merging together is something that's really, really positive. But actually this idea of, of a change throughout from central government down to local government seems to me to be something really positive. It seems to me to be sensible thinking, pragmatic thinking. Um, we're all being, uh, we're all having to be creative these days and think about the end game in mind. And if everyone is doing that together, then the effects are going to be so much more important. The emphasis on locality, though, I think is particularly to be welcomed because we do know that our local people turn to us all the time, even for things we're not responsible for. Um, and if we have the ability to deliver, then we with them can make sensible decisions about what is most needed in our area and what is uh, where the priorities are. And I, I thought Sir Merrick made a very good point about micromanagement um, of the councils, which seems to come down in a cascade from uh, Whitehall to be from the CAG. It's really just a reminder that as local people, they need to be making local decisions through their local elected representatives. And again, I think you know, Sir Merrick has provided us, the LGA have provided us with a kind of route map around the proper, stable funding of local government and securing that in the future. The key thing is, will Eric Pickles listen? We hope that he will, and you'll hear that uh, in his address at the end of the conference. I think perhaps the biggest one would, would be the bonds. They seem to be working in other countries, um, and I think you know they, they could be um, a, a lot of financial contribution to the services that we've been provided the authority if that was put in position locally. I think we've all got to make some significant progress on the health and social care agenda. For me, that is the elephant in the living room that is just unresolved. We can actually take control of our own agenda on so many things already. In fact, in Sandwell we already do that. But the challenge of health and social care is so massive that I think only as local government as a whole and challenging local government can we actually bring a, a, a positive and satisfactory way forward on that agenda.